The health ministry and the Ghana Health Service have reacted to TV3's latest feature, No Rest in Peace, by Godwin Asidiba, on the poor state of public cemeteries. They expect those directly in charge to be proactive. The documentary reveals the sorest state of public cemeteries, coupled with poor conditions of service for workers. A walk into the Awudome Cemetery and one is likely to see parts of human skeletal wrapped in rotten clothes of the dead. This human skull I bumped into was frightening. This is a human skull, very scary. This old grave at the cemetery had just been opened and cleared, awaiting a new dead body. The Deputy Minister of Health, Tina Gifty Na Ayele Mensa, described the situation as unacceptable. If it happens like that, then it's a, it's a health issue. No, it, it shouldn't be so. Because, yes, like you say, anything that is hazardous to health is health issues and it should be looked at. We are looking at uh, uh, reaching out health for everybody. And if such a thing, like you're saying, every health issue is an health issue. Yeah. So no matter what it is, whether it's human or even it is filth or anything, that needs to be looked yeah. into. The Director General of the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Patrick Kumabwaje, called on authorities in charge to be proactive. Anything of that nature uh, creates um, an unsightly environment and also means that uh, maybe barriers, uh, barrier protocols are not done properly and that's what we need to look at to ensure that uh, barriers are done. It means that certain things are not done very well, that's why we should have, we have such things appearing at our cemeteries. There have to be very, very strict protocols, strict guidelines that uh, we must ensure they are, they are followed and they are adhered to. And I think those things are adhered to. The depth and everything that is done, maintenance of the places are done, we will not have such problems. So it's about uh, implementation of guidelines and standards and we believe as long as that is adhered to, we shouldn't have. Because all barriers, they dig and bury, but I think there are rules and there are ways that have to be done safely. And I think if those things are, protocols are respected and they are enforced by those uh, who are being paid to do that, who can avoid such happiness. Thank you. Godwin Asidiba, TV3, Accra.